Welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Double AC20. Double AC20, when deleting your opponent isn't enough. Okay, well, we've made a jump now. Let's have a look at the navigation here. We're four days away from the financial report. We did make one jump. I wasn't able to get as far as I was hoping, but I figure we need to pull off a couple missions and this thing just spawned in. This was not here before I jumped. Which one is this? Test drive. Consecutive deployments, yes. Comstar. This is a product named Centaur. What's the skull rating on this? Half skull. Eh, I don't know. Mech loot cache. Does that mean you get a mech for this? I don't know. Expires in 175. Let me think about that. What skull play? This is a three. So we'd be going there for just this mission and then leaving. 25 days. Eh, I don't know. I think if this planet was like four skulls, something like that, it would probably be worth it, but... Whatever. Anyway, we're in the Tamarind Abbey here. Four and a half skull planet. I figure we take a shot here. That means we're pretty close. I think we're just one jump out now from the Marian Hegemony. Yeah, we got like three and a half skull world here. I know there's a four and a half lurking here somewhere as well. Yeah, right there. Huntington, four and a half, 28 days out. So we'll probably pick a couple missions here and then jump out of the system. Now, I do have an idea what we want to take here today. Let's go back. Uh, but first we want to do is go to the mech bay because I did outfit the uh, Crusader. Now I know the Crusader is definitely a missile boat, totally a missile boat, but I thought, you know what, let's try something a little different with what the material we had. I tried an SRM layout for a close brawler build. Movement's 4.7 on this thing, so it's a little faster than normal. We would end up having to put in like a supercharger or whatever and, you know, it's not really working for me. But if we go here to the Crusader, I'll show you what I did load out. So we'll go refit here real quick. I didn't really have all the elements I needed to make this work, but I was going to make a triple plasma cannon build, and I just couldn't sink the heat. So it was really, yeah, it wasn't really going to work for me. We would fire all three, and then we'd be over by like 35 to 40 heat or something like that. And I'm like, ah, it's not really, not really worth it. So we'd be firing two, right, the rifle and the plasma cannon, and then we would be firing two. So I'm like... If we're only going to be firing two every round, we might as well just have one plasma cannon in the arm and then the plasma rifle, right? So that's what we're doing. We got a plasma rifle, we got a, the plasma cannon, and then I loaded out an AC5 pirate on this thing to get the extra heat damage, right? It doesn't do a lot of physical damage, but the 20 heat is actually good, plus it's bonus versus overheating target, which should be great. Times three bonus damage against overheating targets, so it's 75 if the target's overheating. So that's a good good weapon to have on this guy. Then I loaded out the uh, AC2 uh, Myrdren, Myrdren for the bonus chance to hit. Uh, it does have a jam chance, but it's only 5% jam chance mitigated by gunnery, which will be zero pretty much. Uh, plus 20% chance to cluster on hit location with this weapon. But um, I put in incendiary ammo with that as well. So, you know, we'll be it's plus 10 heat damage dealt. So it'll do a little bit of damage, a little bit of physical damage, minus 40%. So it's like six points of pop, I think. Is it? Yeah, six points per cluster. So three times six is 18 damage, plus then the 30 heat damage if they all land, which is a huge bonus. It's a little better than the pirate AC5, except for the damage dealt, of course. But it's got a better range. So, and then the heat sinking, of course, we added one extra heat sink. We got plus two heat sinking cooling in the center torso. This says heat sinking 72, but it's actually 78, I think. So it should run pretty cool with the extra double heat sink. This says plus two. Gives me 72 heat, but it's not counting this one for some reason. I'm not sure there's an addition problem here somewhere. Uh, we got an AR-24 um, sheath beacon. I don't have a fire control system for this yet. Um, I do have an AC... Wait a minute. I do have... Um, I guess we could just drop the AC-2 fire control system in here. Temporarily. There wasn't really anything... I guess I could have... Why did I take that out? You know what it is? I pulled out the Artemis system I had in there because I was going to run with Artemis and missiles and I forgot to replace it because even the fire control system improved is a better upgrade. Indirect jam. We don't have to worry about jamming. I mean, we could go with this. But it's plus one recoil, right? 
We're already getting nasty recoil from this thing. Oh, it's only two recoil. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to worry about it for now because I don't think these guys are actually going to get into any combat on this planet because of the num like the types of missions that we have. I don't think this third lance is really going to be... I mean, I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it. But we're going to run with these three mechs in the third lance. I'm going to leave the Crusader down here because it's just simply an overheater. It might come in more handy up in the upper lance at some point, but I think I want to go with the AC-20 uh, Bushwhacker and, and the, um, the rocket packs for overheating on the top lance. So we're going to go with that, but... We're going to do a mission today. I'm going to try to redeem myself after that last one. So we're going to go to the command center here. And there is another three and a half skull um, blackout mission. But this time it's versus Tamara and Abby. I'm really hoping we find some uh, quick sell mechs in this one. So that's why I'm taking this one today. And i got to get back the uh, the uh, the issue that we've been having with defend base missions with this lance. Now, that being said, this lance is only rated at one skull. And we've been taking like three, three and a half skull uh, defend base missions and things like that. So, so it's been a little bit of a, you know, I don't know. Um, it's been tough finding the sweet spot for these guys, but anyway, we got a good land. So let's take this mission. Hopefully we get some good gack gack out of this. It'd be nice to be able to do that. So let's just go ahead and deploy. Yeah, I know. Well, here we go. Where are we? We are... Rain will help with the heat sinking, will it? Maybe slightly. Uh, okay, we're about where we were last time. When we were on this map. So let's just uh, push forward and do what we're planning on doing. Uh, combat shotgun on. Ah, we don't need to go very far. We gotta wait for everybody else anyway. Alright. I think it's going to be the Hetzers Roger moving that. in, probably. Moving to position. Probably. Three and a half skulls is probably the best best thing to do. Let's see if we get turrets this time. Turrets! On it. Alright. Actually, we could probably move the... Uh, now, nah, maybe. We better not. I was going to say we could probably move the Valkyrie in with its Got stealth it. on and everything, but... We're good. We are. Right. Hetzer should be able to handle it. All right, Jenkins. Uh, I'm gonna put you here. Mm. Now let's go here. Acknowledged. I'll Ready keep on. my uh, smaller guys more this side. On the move. On the move. Uh, can we? We can get all the way up there. Ah, screw it. Let's just get it started. Moving to position. If we can. I don't know if we can. I'll do what I can. That's one. And two. Beautiful. Turrets are activating. Incoming fire, Commander. Alright, we got turrets. We got turrets. Ready for orders. Alright, Mattel, what do we got though for turrets? We've got Parabellar M20s, that's not good. Heavy sniper with two PPCs. Heavy laser. As long as we don't get close, we should be okay. And what do you got? Thumper. Well, you gotta go, don't you? Uh, but since we're more this way, let's get... Ooh, maybe we should, uh... There we go. That's a little better. Let's go, let's move to here, like that. Roger. And we'll take a shot like this. Right. Oops. Five, six. Put the rotaries up top. That's actually not bad. Let's hammer them. Roger. That's not bad damage output for a 35 ton mech. Ready for I gotta order. say, I'm really happy with the way these guys turned out. Okay, let's move into here. Do we have enough to kill this thing, though? That's the question. Well, let's find out. Our uh, combat shotgun shouldn't fragment at this range. It should probably not cluster at all. But we'll leave it where it is. Land of the shot. There we go. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. You know your job. Should you choose to accept it? 
Well, you don't really have a choice. You don't have a choice. 87, eh? No, 66. 87 on the building. And from what I remember, I don't think we can just destroy the buildings anymore. I know you used to be able to shoot the buildings out from underneath them. Which was always kind of a cheat in, in, uh, in my eyes, but let's go right here. It's not the best positioning, but that's fine. That's just fine. We might be able to pop this one like a zit. We'll see. We get lucky here. Confirmed. Well, we got the building anyway. Ah, misfire, damn it. Yeah, I see. Whatever. What do you need? Whatever. Oh, we need you to get over here. Get in the trees no for a little bit of armor protection. And we'll take a shot at this turret. That's a pretty good chance to hit. Pretty crappy damage though, but whatever. Standing by. All right, Big T. Yeah, we'll move into there. On my way. That's looking all right. That's looking all right. Bring the light rotary up. Combat shotgun on. Wind you up. Like so. And uh, let's give it to him. Jesus, man. Almost got it. I'm your spaniel. You know it's a problem when you're allowing Jenkins to take the kill. We're gonna get the kill on this guy. He's too close to everybody else. Leave the combat shotgun off. Ah, better not. Nice. Target destroyed. Ow. Not much armor left in that location. Large Hold laser. Ooh, you're in range of the mediums. All right. Well, you won't be next turn. Light damage. Holding firm. Receiving you. Okay, Arcelor Metal. Um, your rack's down. One of them's down. 60 on this guy. Uh, we'll move to there. Roger that. Let's get the Tumper. Get this guy. And we'll go all in. Didn't land quite as many, but we have a lot of recoil, so... Commander. We just deal with it. Let's walk you up to here. Get a shot off on you. Man, that pulse laser is actually really good. Demolished. Thank you. Good well, thank go. you very much. The stats do makes doesn't look that way, but it's certainly uh, performing that way. We're just gonna walk up here, drop our recoil, get a shot off on this guy. Here it comes rotary. Oof. That's a lot of damage. See if I can follow it up here with something good. On the move, full speed. So if we had better armor, this lance would be devastating, but got to be very careful. Uh, we'll go standard. That's fine. It's a lot of SRM hit. I think things are going swimmingly. Yeah. I would agree. All right, we need to be at range. Let's split the difference. Let's just go right here. Go right here. We should be able to finish this guy off this turn, I think. There it is. Good damage. Almost got him, though. Scored a critical hit. What's up, boss? You got your sheen guns still, so let's just use those. All right, let's give it to him then. Engaging. See ya. Turret destroyed. All right. Well. I'll see you when we get over there. All right, here we go. We're almost there. I'm just gonna get up the hill here with these guys. Rolling. Try to keep everybody kind of packed together here, so we are all all arrive at the same time. Uh, I'm gonna go out. I think next turn we'll put you there. PPC can go up here. 
Yeah, I'm not really happy with this ERPPC version of this Hetzer. I may try to switch it for something else. I'm just using it because it's quick sell, so... Alright, let's get into position here. They will probably drop down on the far side over there. They normally do. We've had some back strikes on us already, so I have no idea if that's going to be the case. But let's move you into there. And the PPC version can come down here. Copy that. Alright, see what's up. We're in a dropship. Oh, it's landing back there. Forward base. Okay, so they are on our side. Oh, okay, the contacts are dropping in. So I did update this. The uh, Centurion A. Savage Wolf. Well, that's interesting. Chaparral. Pegasus 2R. I wonder what that's got. Um, so anyway, yeah, I did up update... Uh, update by. Rogue Tech. So... I'm wondering if this dropping in different locations now is part of that. I hope it is, because it's nice when they, do, when they don't show up where they're supposed to. It keeps it completely unpredictable. You have no idea where they're going to come. Now they might. I don't think they're going to get another Lance. They might. I don't know. I was really hoping for more in this one, but... It is what it is. Well, we'll take that shot. Yeah, we're not going to get much in this first, uh, first turn here. Now wait, the Chaparral, this is a, um, an arrow launcher. It's an arrow launcher. Okay. Aye, aye. Okay. Let's get down here. Roger that. I think it's, a, I think it's a vehicle I'm hearing that noise from. I think it's the Hetzer's wheel still moving. Wow. Don't think it matters. We're going to keep ourselves from getting some recoil. We'll just fire a couple rounds off first turn. Okay, one small hit. Commander. Right, we got a bit of a head in the Centurion. So let's On see. It. I'm going to try to shoot everybody at least once. Get a little bit of damage on each of them, so hopefully they turn and attack me instead. Get a little bit of damage on you. It's me, E. Let's get down here. So it's just the other Pegasus, I think, that we have not shot yet. Yeah, we got one on. Nice. So they've all been hit. So now this should tell us... We're not going to fire with this one. This should tell us if they're going to... If they all shoot at us... Then at least we have a good idea that the AI is like that guy's on fire. That the AI is like kind of coded to shoot at you know instant threats or the threats that it sees as being threats. No, it's shooting at the bunker. So they don't really care about us. I didn't yeah. think so. I think it's I I I just think it's I think it's random. I don't think it's like fixed. Roger. It's probably because we're all in trees and we all moved and we got some evasion. Yeah, it was this vehicle making the noise. Take a shot at this guy. 60 damage isn't bad for this range. We can land it. Yeah. You know, an LRM headsuit would be better, like a, pair, like a pair of LRM 15s or something. Oof. That's a lot of damage. Well, we know who we gotta shoot. Internal structure damage. Mech is on fire! Did you see that guy? He was on fire! Well, at least he didn't shoot at me. Okay, let's clear this up this turn. So that's... Is that like an arctic wolf that's been... That's an awful lot of heat. Christ, we're gonna go home and let the turrets handle this. We just gotta remember not to get close to the enemy. Uh, the Savage Wolf, uh, is that like an Arctic Wolf that's been, like, remodded? Because it looks like... Yeah, I guess. 
I don't know. Maybe if you know, let me know down in the comments. I, I'm not exactly sure what that. I'd, Standing by. Probably based off a of clan mech. At least that's what it looks like. I could be completely wrong now. It's not like I haven't been completely wrong in the past. Um, you know, possibly. That's a good chance. Let's shoot the centurion. Most likely we're gonna hit this guy in front of him, but screw it. Let's wind it up. This could be the last turn we have to shoot. Let's hit him. Okay, so he's got two bars of instability. Gonna get down here, stay a little bit further away from my other guy. I know the Centurion is not this big threat at the moment, but I want to kill him, I think. Because I want salvage from the other guy. Let's go with acid. Target acquired. This just in. Critical hit. Orders. Yeah, this Lance has got a really, really great ability to knock people down. That's the Chaparral. We don't want that. We want the other guy. The Centuria, Centurial. Understood. Moving fast. Let's get over here. Walkry, hammer him. Oh, yeah, we hit the Chaparral with the, uh... See ya. That's the that's the pulse laser and the that extra yeah. crit. That's just insane. Okay, you're not gonna move because I want to draw one of these guys' ire. Let's just fire at this guy. Targeting turn alpha. Streaks. Yeah, streaks not firing. Negative damage. That's all right. Order. Hopefully they'll target you. Go here. Roger. Let's lag over here, and then we'll shoot the chaparral. Line this up so I don't forget. Full stick shots. Here it comes. That should do it. Yep. Tango down. He's just a smudge. Ready for orders. He is a freaking smudge. Can I get a green? I can get. I can't get a green. Can I get a green from here? Oh yeah. 25%. No That's all we need. Although now that I think about it, I am kind of shooting back towards my own guy, so maybe not a good idea, but 25% more than anything we need. More than what we normally need for this kind of pilot. All weapons are go. Yeah, I, you know what it is? I'm running my mouth now. That's why I'm missing. Are you going for the buildings? Probably. Yep. Okay, so this guy is still overheating. Well, if he's not, he will be in a minute. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. I think that's a thunderbolt. That should be the... Yeah, that's the uh, incendiaries. Fuck, he's almost shut down. Ready for I don't have anything to hit him with to, shoot, to shut him down either. Let's not get too close. We'll go here. I think at this point... That's a lot of armor. People will scream at me if I don't do it this way. Let's see if we can get this guy's leg. Okay, good damage. Standing by. You know, I wonder if you had the um, fire control system headshot with the p -p 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 pulse lasers. If you had a bunch of those, I wonder how often you would hit the head. I don't predict this guy. Uh, he's on 13, right? Yeah, we go before him. Everybody does. So I, I don't think he's going to be standing after this. All right, let's hammer him again. We're going to go full rotary. Okay, good leg damage. Yeah, see, we can do really good instability damage to people. That's why I'm... I'm, I'm I don't want to say I'm not afraid of heavier mechs. I am. But 
I'm less worried about it because I know like things like atlases and stuff, we can kind of knock them down if we focus fire on them. We get half decent chances to hit, you know? So we're a little bit down because of recoil on the rotaries, but that's fine. Engaging target. There goes the leg. Target's It's taking a critical hit. Come on, bail out. I live to serve. I need you to live to stand still to shoot this guy. Oh, let's get into the small X pulse range. There we go. There we go. Let's get it all on this guy. Why are we gonna wait? Why are we gonna waste one good weapon when we can just move in and hopefully we can get a headshot? Let's see. Firing all weapons. God, look at the damage. He's gone. What do we get? One less target. Pilot injured. Torso crit, probably? At the same time? Mission successful. Well, there it is, folks. Alright, that was not bad. The one panther did take a bit of damage, but not too bad over... Oh, look at this, too. Cool. Turret kills. It showed you what the turrets had, too. Command bunker. What did the command bunker have? Deadfire Sam. Double LRM ammo incendiary. Two thumper ammo. That's cool, how it's kind of got all that stuff in there. Nice. They just make this game better and better. Okay, so, storage. Let's have a look here. We already have a full Centurion we haven't put together. Now, the ST had what? Medium pulse, tag, pair of sixes, 120 and 80. That's less than what our current Pegasus has. We have a medium and pair of SRM sixes, but we've got more armor. 914 is pretty good. Arrow system, ATM9 clan. So there's an HA30. Somebody had mentioned, and I apologize, I can't remember who it was. Somebody mentioned that, oh, there's another large improved heavy. Um, somebody had mentioned that getting a pair of HAG 40s and a HAG 30 on a on a uh, heavy mech, like a um, like a Godzilla, making it a HAGzilla, it would be brutal. I can imagine how much damage this thing would put out with that, with that kind of firepower on it. Uh, okay, Feral Lamellar is not bad. Minus 20% damage taken in total, but more stru and more structure points. Wait, 0.88%. Oh, so your total armor goes down, your structure goes up, and you but you have reduced damage. Like reduced incoming damage. Uh, I'm going to throw that in there for now just to see what else is down here. Long scan, not bad. I think we have one of these, don't we? We do. Double heat sink. So that guy was running clan gear. Guided. Do we want... Um, I've been... I've had uh, ATM builds in the past. I'm going to grab the hyper goss ammo. Do I grab the arrow? I mean, we've used that in the past, right? So... Uh, what else haven't we used? Two Savage Wolf parts. 75 tons. So it's a... Oh, it's a new Mad Cat, I guess, technically. So let's drop the larger Proved Heavy and grab those two Savage Wolf parts. Because we might... I don't know if that'll... Um, if we get a Mad Cat... It is Stock Roll Mad Cat Mark IV. So I guess technically if we get a Mad Cat part we can put it together? I'm guessing? Minus 10% weapon heat generated at level 20. 1.12 drop cost mu multiplier though. Crit resistance at level 40. More crit resistance at level 145. Man, at level 150, you got like minus 15% heat. 45% crit resist. 
less than that's actually pretty good anyway let's just confirm this all right we got the two pegasus parts that's nice centurion part we got one chaparral part that's all right ac10 we're gonna hold on to i don't think we have we have one okay i didn't think we had any mediums can go medium pulse will hold on to i think yeah srm4 Probably ditch that. I think we got. I think we have enough sixes. Yeah, you can go. Armor can go. We'll hold on to the case for sure. That can go. Double heat sinks definitely staying. Clan sensors will stay. That can go. That can go. Keep the ammo. All right. So I mean, not the best roll, I guess. We got the vehicle parts, the Pegasus parts. That's not bad. All right. That's not nothing. That's like nothing in repair. So turned out well. It's just really the one Panther, I think. Yeah. Oh, the Valkyrie took a little bit of damage. Oh, they both... Okay. Yeah, all oh, right, the artillery strike early on. That's right. Yeah, so that's not bad. We'll be back in, like... Everyone's back in two days. Oh, do we get another... Is there another mission here we could take in a couple of days? There's this one. Destroy base. The next one we're going to take is this one. Four and a half skull uh, ambush con convoy. It's against Tamron Abbey, but... I'm expecting to have two lances plus the convoy we're gonna take the heavies in for that guy and then if we have enough time another tamarin abbey against tamarin abbey here this is a five recovery um government forces yeah i'm not i'm eh. competition isn't that tough up here right now well i mean it's Tough and skulls, but I'm talking about like it's not Lyran Commonwealth or Comstar or any of that stuff. So, we'll just crank it up. I think this one here will probably give us the most number of mechs on the field. This one might assassinate in the lowlands. It's at least two lances plus the main one. It could be three. Who is it against? Um, should be worrying about this for next time. Oh, Lyran. Lyran, Lyrian, whatever you want to call it. I, use, I always call it Lyrian. I'm trying to pronounce it correctly, but fuck it. Lyrian. The, Lyr <laughs> the Lyrians. We could take that one. Let's go with this one first. I'm, like, once again, I want to try and find quick sell gear. I'm kind of desperate for it. So we'll take this one next episode. And then the episode after that, probably go with this guy. And then who knows, maybe there'll be something else that'll populate for the third lance to take. Like, I mean, I could take this with the with the third lance. We'll see. After the next episode, we'll see if something else pops in here. Hopefully it's not down this way, but up this way. All right, but I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please drop your comments in the comment section down below. Check out that quick sell site as well. Can't go wrong. Until next time, we'll see you later. <laughs>